one of my favourite things to do whenever I travel anywhere is to jump in a car and explore, find some panoramic spots where you can look out over the environment, really take in the landscape. There's nowhere better on the planet than Norfolk Island to do this. It has got some amazing spots to take it all in and really get a feel for the lay of the land. Here's five of my favourites. The first is the Queen Elizabeth Lookout. Queen Elizabeth Lookout is located on Rooty Hill Road and it overlooks the World Heritage Area of Kingston. You can see the historical houses along Quality Row, which were built during the second convict settlement. There's the golf course, the cemetery, and amazing views out to Phillip and Nepean Islands. Back on the road, and the coolest things happen as you travel around the island by car. For instance, you'll note that there's a lot of cows around. They own the place. They are in many ways sacred to locals and local laws state that they actually have the right of way, so drive carefully. It's a funny and very special experience as part of your travels around the island. Just 10 minutes away is a place very close to my heart, the Botanical Garden. This really is a remarkable garden. It is so beautiful. Now there's deep valleys and the boardwalks take you down through them and you get to see all the plants that have evolved uniquely in this environment, which you'll find all over the island. But there are the others, the ones that stand out on those cliff fronts or right down by the coast and can take anything like the spectacular and completely unique Norfolk Island Pine. five minutes up the road to Mount Pitt and you've reached the second highest point on the island. And with 360 degree views, it's this point that has so many visitors gasping for breath, not because of the drive up or walks around, but the truly spectacular views from this vantage point. Now, there are some seriously good walking trails here. If you love a walk through what is just spectacular environment, then this is the perfect place to do it. They're not all hard, some of them are quite easy, but the views you'll get as you're looking out are just spectacular. In fact, I reckon one of the best is the vantage point from the very top of the hill. Perfect place to bring yourself a picnic, sit down and just take it all in. Back in 1774, when Captain Cook came into this place, it's called Duncan Bay, it must have been just one of those amazing things to see after he'd been sailing for so long. The revelation of the island from sea level would be just spectacular. But why he chose this point is really quite interesting. I, I don't know, it's one of the more difficult spots to get up on top of the island. There were better places to land, but maybe he just picked this point and said, this is it can't blame him. It is really spectacular. And today, well, this is Captain Cook's lookout. This is one place that you have to come. Make sure you take some photos and just suck up this scenery. It is amazing. And watching a sunset at Puppy's Point is the place to finish your day and soak up a Norfolk Island sunset. Does it get any better than this? I think not.